Hello everyone, it's me and today is part two of me ranking my eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so here are my XX Revolution palettes. This is the Chameleon palette. I'll just open it up so I can show it to you. There we go, it's got some very nice shades. It's got like a pink, a purple and a blue, which I like, and a shimmery white, which I like. It's also got this kind of beigey, shimmery gold and this shimmery-ish sort of brown colour. It's very kind of simple for making that kind of pastel look I quite like. Um, and I found a kind of solution that I've started doing when a palette doesn't have a black. I will just use mascara or eyeliner to sort of darken the outer V and then I'll smoke that out. There you go, that's the chameleon palette. And then this one, like the Novena, this one is the Vortex palette from XX Revolution. And like the Novena palette, it's got that velvety sort of feltish. It's not quite as bad as the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novena palette, but... I don't really like touching it, like it's a weird sensory thing, I just, ugh, it just, just that kind of fabric-y feel, I kind of squirm when I touch it, but if you look at the colours, they're very nice, it's a very shimmery palette, um, it's got a few mattes, like that dark green, that peachy-ish colour, and this pale pink, and this turquoise blue, and I was going to say this matte black, but the blacks, if you look at it carefully, it has got a few kind of like sparkles in it, but it's mostly matte. This is a very nice palette, it's got more colour options than the Chameleon palette, but um, yeah, I can do that look that I like doing with these looks, and I can mix colours, so it's got a lot of variety. And then this is the... X Gen palette from XX Revolution. It's one of the great big ones. And this, as you can see, has a lot of purple um, and some pink, but it's not got any blue. And I like it when it has all three. So, um, but on the other hand, I absolutely love the packaging. It's got this lovely holographic packaging. And um, yeah, it's got lots of, it's got matte shimmers, glitters, it's got this lovely glittery colour, and it's got a matte black. So, I'm going to have this one as number one, and then number two will be the um, Vortex palette, and then number three will be the Chameleon palette, just because it's small. It's okay, so this is Makeup Obsession. Sorry, I'll just rotate the screen so I can see a bit more. Um, here we have got these two little palettes. This one is the Sweet Light Candy one. It's very small and it's all kind of like purplish shades and then this one is the ocean blues palette it's got sort of purple sort of like not purple blue and it's got a silver a white and some kind of slight like more turquoisey shades and then i've got this one which this is the if in doubt be a unicorn palette it's got some mattes it's got some glitters but to me it doesn't really look like a makeup palette, it just sort of like, it looks more like an SFX palette. I have a feeling it could be used for like a Halloween costume or something. It's quite nice though. And then we've got sort of the bigger makeup obsession palettes that kind of remind me of Colourpop, sort of slightly larger Colourpop palettes. They open the way the Elsa palette does, but um, yeah, it gives me real Colourpop vibes. This is the LA Dreams palette and it's got some very nice greens and pinks. Yes, it's very nice. This is the... Crystal Waves palette and it's all pastels. Um, it's very nice, but it's kind of just of all pastels. Um, again, I can use mascara or eyeliner if I want to darken the inner rim or the, the inner corner, the outer corner. Sorry. This is the Makeup Obsession and Ray D Daydream palette, which was out last year, and this is it's very nice, but I find it a little bright. It's lovely though, but um, yeah, that mint green pixie is very nice. And then this is the Rady Dusk palette. It's got a real kind of fairy tale theme, and it's very nice if you mix the colours. The Rose Madder and the um, Angel um, Shimmery White gives a real kind of, you can make a really nice pink with it, and um, yeah, you can make very nice looks with it. Um, it's just best if you mix the colours. And then there's lastly, there is. I'm pretty sure this is the first Makeup Obsession palette I got. This is Dream with a Vision. Again, it's very similar to the Crystal Waves palette, but it's got some darker colours in there. And, um, yeah, I really like this one. So, um, this one is definitely my favourite. I'm going to put Dream with a Vision as number one. And then um, 
After that, I will put the Crystal Waves. After that, I will put LA Dreams. Then the Rady Dusk. And then the Rady um, Daydream. Ocean Blues. Sweet Like Candy. And finally, If In Doubt, Be a Unicorn. Now we have these sort of like glitter palettes um basically how i'm going to structure it is because makeup revolution is um i've got so much from makeup revolution we're going to split it into the categories of kind of the collections of the makeup revolution products that i have and so here i have these sort of um these ones were released these were holiday ones that were released christmas last year and um these are just ordinary ones they're sort of similar but these ones were called snow globes and these ones i don't really know what they're called like glitter palettes or something all of them have this kind of like glitter inside they remind me of the seattle london um glitter glitter storm palette which i showed you on sunday so this is the starry eyed palette and it's a kind of blue theme it's got quite a lot of sort of shimmery blues um and these sort of chestnutty colors of pale gold and stuff like that it's all very shimmery um and then we ha also have the fortune seeker one which is purple themed and um, that has a matte dark brown and a matte peachish color but sort of similar but it's purpley and then we have the One True Love palette, which is pink, that, um, skin mostly shimmers, a few mattes, um, it's got that kind of matte off-white, I'm not usually a big fan of matte whites, I prefer a shimmery or glittery white, um, and then onto the actual snow globes, this is the Snowflake palette, and I absolutely love this one. It's got that lovely mauvey colour, that lovely sort of like purpley blue, the pale blue colour. Um, yes, very nice for a kind of festive-ish look. And then this one is the Ar Snow Arctic Snow Globe palette. And again, it's got golds, purples, um, kind of quite me colours, quite Christmassy. And um, then we have the Penguin palette, which is a lot more neutral. It's got a matte black, it's got some pink, some gold colours, some brownish colours, a orangey brown brick colour, light brown, and a matte white. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of matte whites. So I'm probably going to go with the Snowflake palette for the first one. And then I'm going to go with the um, Starry Eyed. And then I'm going to go with the arctic then fortune seeker then one true love and finally penguin this is part of the magical creature collection they released highlighters and lipsticks and palettes and stuff and here we've got the unicorn heart palette this is one of my favorite ones from that i originally got from makeup revolution it's quite an early one I've had I've had it for a while as you can see I've reached the pan on a couple of shades here I was in love with this palette when I first got it and as you can see it's got some lovely stuff like pastel colors lovely purples blue pink shades and then we have the angel heart palette which is very pinky and rosy and quite neutral and warm and then we have the Mermaid palette, which is a lot of blues and greens. These blues are really nice. Um, the formula's okay on these palettes. But... And then we got sort of like, I'd imagine this is the Dragon palette. It's got a matte black. I'd imagine it would be more fiery, but it's got some really nice purples. And um, number one's easy here, Unicorn palette. And um, then I'm going to do the Dragon palette, then the Mermaid one, and then the Angel also from the magical creature range these are the pigment palettes here we've got the dragon palette again that's got a purple in it it's got very fiery shades too again the mermaid palette is um greens blue it's also got gold pinks the unicorn palette is very pretty and pastel and then the angel palette's got a lot of gold but it's also got some pinks I'm not so into palettes that don't have mirrors in them, especially ones that have like plastic or glass as lids. I just find it kind of like, just, I don't know, I prefer to have mirrors, it just seems more 
I don't know. So I'm going to put the unicorn palette as the top, then the mermaid palette, then the angel palette, and then finally the dragon palette. No, I've not stopped for a snack. These are not actual donuts. They're palettes. Um, these are the I Heart Revolution donut palettes. I love them so much. They're so cute. They're, they look like actual little donuts, and they have really nice shades. The formula's okay. It's not the most blendable formula in the world, but I do quite like it. So um, we've got this this one. This one is Blueberry Crush, and inside it's got nice blue br blue shades with a sort of white in the middle then we have raspberry icing that is a pinky one that's got sort of like a paler sort of like creamier color in the middle with pink shades um the colors on the outside are it's a mixture of mattes and shimmers then we have this red one this is strawberry sprinkles that's got red mostly red but again a kind of like creamy shade and then a peach a matte peach shade there then we have maple glazed which has yellowy themes it's got a few browns and kind of beiges and gold there aren't really any real yellows here it's just gold and brown and sort of beige it's very nice though and then we got this one this is the chocolate dipped that again has it's got browns there but it's got sort of like a pe pale peach there and some golds a paler gold and a, and a darker gold so i'm definitely going to put the blueberry crush then we're going to have this one then we're going to have this one this one and this one so blueberry crush is the winner that one. i'm going to do the minis here these are kind of miniature versions of the chocolate the i heart chocolate palettes and the tasty palettes um i'm going to get onto that in a second but i'm going to do these minis first because I, like i said i'm going from backwards this is the rocky road palette um i really like this one it's got a few mattes, mostly shimmers though. It's um, yeah, it's really nice. I used it the other day, and then I've got this this lovely chocolate nudes palette. I've reached the pan quite a bit on um, that shade, and it's just nice for sort of shimmerish neutral palettes. Nice for a sort of everyday look. And then we have the mini tasty espresso palette. It's all mattes, but it's quite nice colours, neutralish to warm colours. So I'm probably going to go with the rocky road palette first then the nudes palette and then the mini espresso palette here we have the full size tasty palettes um these are all kind of food themes like a lot of i heart revolutions palettes are here we have the i heart revolution tasty pizza palette that has this is a lot of colors i like it's got shimmery blues which i'm always into it's got some Reds, pinks, got again. It's got a matte white, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's nice. And um, some dark browns. Um, that's a very nice one. I can do the looks that I like. And then it's got um, this hot dog one, which is all very kind of like dark, warm colours. It's got lots of golds, reds, that sort of thing. A bit like the dragon palettes. And then I absolutely love this popcorn one. This one has got some very nice pastely cool shades it's got lovely blues some greens purples and and uh, some darker colors um there you go that one's very nice and then this is the uh this is the tasty coffee palette it's got mostly sort of neutrals but it's got some gorgeous glitters like decaf is that lovely glittery not glittery shimmery metallic pink and then iced is that lovely shimmery metallic white latte is that kind of like pale gold color and then caffeine's a matte but it's a very nice lilac -y. i really like that one and then we have the one this one i used in quite a recent video so i forgot to mention so did i also use the espresso palette in a very recent video that i just bought it this is the tasty latte palette and um yeah it's quite warm quite neutral it's got some nice shimmers though and um yeah it's very nice um yeah and then i've got the tasty avocado palette which has a lot of Again, like the pizza palette, it's got some lovely shimmery blues, some greens, and I'm always into shimmery blues, and it's got a matte black and stuff, and this is more close to sort of the typical I Heart Revolution formula, which has, um, the mini ones are too, but this, but these, this is kind of like we're going into more of the typical I Heart Revolution formula that we see in like most of the palettes, and which is amazing. I really like 
Makeup Revolution's eyeshadow formula. And then this is the um, chilli one, which has some kind of like blues, pinks, purples, but it's kind of darker and more strong. Very nice though. And then since there isn't any more of that, there isn't any of any more of this kind, I've got the Reva Poochers palette and just like the packaging is it's absolutely adorable. I like, got these little dogs and I remember I remember when this one came out, it was around just under a year ago, sort of nearish Christmas time. And it's got such lovely shimmers, some really nice um mattes too, but um yeah. So on to ranking. Since there's a bit more, it's going to be more difficult. So I'm going to have the popcorn palette as number one, and um, I'm just going to sort these a little bit. Um, probably going to have the Reva Poochers as number two, and then the. Just need to look inside again, just to compare them. And then I'm going to have the um, pizza palette as number three, the avocado palette as number four, then the coffee palette as number five, the latte palette as number six, the chili one as number seven, and the hot dog one as number eight. Okay, as you can see, this bit is probably going to take a bit longer because we're doing my chocolate palettes and I have a lot of them. I'm probably going to have to turn off filming halfway through and then rank them and then tell you the order I'm ranking in after I've already ranked them. So firstly, let's just go through them. We've got my s'mores palette. This one is really nice. Um, it's got sort of like, it's all kind of like browns, golds, neutral shades. It's got some whites it's, and some creams. Um, it's very nice for kind of like a it's just ordinary sort of like smoky neutral look. Um, it's got some shimmers and mattes. Neutral shimmers can be nice. And then we've got the 24k gold. Um, I never got the golden bar, I just went straight for the 24k one. I was just like, why not just get that one? And that's mostly neutrals. It's got that nice green. It's mostly sort of like golds again, shimmers and mattes. It's nice for kind of like a shimmery neutral look, smoky look with the black. And then I've got the chocolate rose gold palette. Um, that's got some very nice pinks in it. It's a bit rosier than the ordinary gold palette. It's got shimmery pink. It's got a matte pink there. That one's very nice. And then here's one of my favourites. Um, this is the cinnamon palette. And I've already used it in a video in my first ASMR makeup tutorial. With um, I used this with another one of the palettes. And oh my god, this one smells so good. All the shades are named after different spices. Because it's the cinnamon palette. Um, we, they're here we've got like charcoal. That's not a spice. But still we've got saffron, ginger, cardamom, coriander, paprika. Oh my, and wow, it just smells so good. I can't stop smelling it whenever I use it. Um, just It just smells of autumn. It's so good. It just smells so nice. Um, and then we've got the other palette which I used in my ASMR makeup tutorial. This is the Creme Brulee palette and I really like this one because it's got stuff to like some more purpley sort of like colours and um, but also neutral colours. You can make a number of looks with this palette. It's very nice and um, then we have this one and the lid's actually broken on this one. Um, it's come off, but this is the Lemon Drizzle palette. It's got mainly, it's got golds and it's got sort of like neutralish colours and it's got a very nice, that colour delicious. It's a lovely kind of like brass brayish pink colour. And yeah, that one's lovely. And then here's another kind of like one that's kind of wintery, like this Cinnamon Palette's Autumn. This is kind of wintery. This is the Chocolate and Cranberries palette. And um, it's got very kind of like deep warm shades. It's got sort of like berry shades. That shade is actually called wine and it's sort of wine, white, red wine coloured. And um, yeah. And then this one is the Honey palette. And oops, let me just open it. And it's got quite a lot of pink shades. It's got sort of like gold honey shades. Again, this one smells really nice. It actually smells of honey, but I love the pink shades on this palette. Um, they're really pretty, really shimmery and stuff. And then we have the, this is the Chocolate Elixir palette. And this is very matte and very neutral. It's got those nice reds though. And some shimmers like that gold and that kind of creamy color and that shimmery white. Yeah, that one's 
quite nice. And then we've got, excuse me, this is the chocolate violet palette and it's got a lot of purples, a lot of pinks, just one pink actually, what am I saying, and some neutrals so you can make quite a few looks with it. And then this blue one is the macaroons palette, I was surprised. I was expecting it to be more blue, but the blues kind of look green and it looks more neutral than I was expecting it to be. It's very nice though. And then this one is the Chocolate Truffle palette. This came out Christmas last year and it's lovely. It's got sort of festive colours. It's got Night In, it's that lovely shimmery purple. It's got Bouquet, it's a kind of like shimmery, slightly off purpley pink white. It's got some very nice pink colours and Secret. I don't... I find it really hard to check to distinguish sometimes between lilac-y or lavenderish colours and silvers, but it's very pretty though, I don't know why. And then there's this is the peanut butter cup one. It's not such a big fan of the colour story of this. I'm not such a big fan of kind of oranges sort of with whites with like blacks and silvers. I don't really know why they're silver in a peanut butter cup one. It's okay though. And then this is another one that came out in Chris. And then um, there's another one that came out Christmas-ish last year. This is the Fruit and Nut palette. Um, I love the blues. Bub blueberries. That is a nice sort of shimmery blue shades. Grapes. A shimmery sort of purpley blue. Again, just like um, it's got very nice sort of like Christmassy feel. It came out Christmas last year. And then this is the Turkish Delight palette, which is very nice. But I wish I'm not such a big fan of the glitter shades. I find. I'm not such a big fan of glitterish eyeshadow. When it's just sort of like when it's eyeshadow, it's got glitter in it. It's okay, but when it's just pure glitter, I just find it a bit kind of gritty to work with. Um, it's nice though. And then this is the Galactic. This one has some very nice shades, and they're kind of like they're really cool. They're kind of marbly. It's got like that's how I like glitter. Kind of like within the eyeshadow, it's got glitter in that colour far, far away that you can see there. And these. These, um, all the names are sort of space themed and, um, yeah, and it's got these really nice marbly shades and a lot of, like, blues, pinks, purples, which are right up my street. Yeah, it's a very nice palette. And then this one is the Chocolate Orange palette. Whenever I see ones that have these sort of, like, longer colours and room for a brush, I always assume that it's kind of, like, one of the older ones, since I'm pretty sure they... That's how the chocolate palettes from I Heart Revolution started, and then they stopped doing that. And this one smells really good again. It's got some pinks, and it's got some mostly neutral, but kind of orangey. It's very nice. And then this one's very similar to it, but in green, mint, obviously. This is the mint chocolate palette. And, um, yes, very nice greens. And again, it, I'm pretty sure it's an older one, because it's got that room for a brush, and it's got those longer colours. Um, and then this one is the sprinkles palette and it's kind of rainbow colored kind of pastel rainbow colored because it's kind of like shimmery it's got like pale blue and stuff and a shimmery white and it's got kind of like funfetti themed names <sighs> excuse me and then we got this one is the red velvet palette and this one has got some very nice kind of like rosy neutral shades i'm not such a big fan of that kind of very loud beetroot pink very kind of like neon pink it doesn't really go with the sort of like soft neutral but it's a very nice palette even even so and then this one's the cherry palette it's got very nice kind of like cherryish pink um it's got like cherry color cherry names like maraschino dark chocolate i always like to wear this with the vinyl liquid lipsticks the ones from makeup revolution i've got three of them i've got um cherry bomb maraschino and the dark one black forest and then this one is the strawberry shortcake and yeah it's the strawberry it's the strawberry cheesecake um palette this is um very pinky and shimmery it's a very pretty palette um yes it's very nice and then finally we have the cotton candy palette which is mostly kind of like pinky themed but with um some purples are as you can see i've used quite a lot of that shimmery lilac pretty and pastel okay i'm just gonna go and just rank these off camera and then i'm going to tell you my ranking and let you know so i finally ranked them that took me a few minutes so um the bottom one is the um, 
peanut butter palette. Again, just I feel like the colours don't really go together. Not the biggest fan of the colour scheme. Then I've got the chocolate elixir palette, the rose gold palette, the um, what's it called? The 24k, the 24k palette. Um, this for 24k, right? Yeah, it's 24k. And then I've got the lemon drizzle palette, the Turkish delight palette, the s'mores palette, the Tur now that's. Now that's the Crumby Chocolate Palette, then the S'mores Palette, then the Turkish Delight Palette, then the Red Velvet Palette, the Chocolate Orange Palette, the Mint Chocolate Palette, the Honey Palette, the Macaroons Palette, the Lovely Smelling Cinnamon Palette, the Cherry Palette, the Strawberry Cheesecake Palette, the Violets Palette, the Cotton Candy Palette, then the Chocolate Truffles Palette, the Galactic Palette, the Funfetti Palette as I like to call it, it was really the Sprinkles Palette, then... The penultimate one is the creme brulee palette, and then finally the winner is the lovely fruit and nut palette. And we're on to Revolution Pro, and I have few enough palettes in this for it to just be one category. So first we've got the um, other really nice baked eyeshadow palettes, like I've got the really horrible e.l.f. baked eyeshadow palettes, and then I have the really nice BH ones, and then I've also got these ones from I Re from Revolution Pro, which are lovely. These are the Colour Focus Capsules, and this one is Earth and Stone. It's... oh, why can't I open it? It's got mainly neutral colours, but it's got a nice green, and... Wow, just it feels soft velvet oh that is what baked eyeshadow palette should be not horrible and chalky like that elf fake baked eyeshadow so um there you go that's the earth and stone and then we got this one is truth or dare and again mostly neutrals it's got that very nice red that lovely kind of blue turquoise shimmery white some gold it's lovely and then this one is night and day. I call this a bougie kind of look, a bougie kind of colour scheme. It's got, it reminds me a bit of the Pat McGrath Mothership One Subliminal, as it's got those very nice sort of like, those colours I really like. That's in the pa There's a few of them in the Pat McGrath palette, and then there's a few of them here, like this one and this one. It's a kind of shimmery, lilac-y, purpley, browny, mauve colour. It's really nice. It's a colour I really like using. It's also got a shimmery white and a dark shimmery blue, a matte black and stuff, which is a lot like the, Pat, the Pat, aforementioned Pat McGrath palette. And then we've got Rock and Royal, which is a lot more kind of like fun colours. There's a purple and a pink and a kind of indigo colour, some golds the same. And... I love that one and then this one is probably my favourite of the colour focus capsules but I, I accidentally broke the mirror on it so I had to take the mirror out and um, replace it with masking tape so it's still safe to use um, yeah it's a long story um, I told it on Instagram but um, go follow me on Instagram it's Alexis Grey Music you'll be able to find that story but yeah it's got these lovely blue shades it's also got a peach one and a shimmery white and a matte black and a greenish colour yeah this is a lovely one I love that one I remember when those um, colour focus capsules came out and I saw that one I was like oh my god I've got to get that blue one um, I'd already I already had all the others and then I saw the blue one I was like oh my god that's amazing then this one is the New Neutral Smoked palette, and it's got these very nice blues and stuff. Again, it's got glitters. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of just glitter eyeshadow. It's kind of gritty. This is a nice palette, though. And then this is the All That Glistens palette. Um, I love this one. It's got kind of different textures. Again, it's got the glitters, which I'm not such a big fan of, and it's got kind of like this weird... This shade is a kind of peach colour, it's called Glitch, it's got it's this weird kind of waxy sort of consistency rather than powder. This is a nice palette though, um, yeah. And then I've got these little quads, um, these are the Ultimate Eye Look quads. This one is Hidden Jewels and it is purple themed, it's a lovely one. And then this one is Ocean Treasure. And it is blue themed. Yes, yeah, lovely. And so now I'm going to rank them. I'm probably going to put smoke and mirrors at the top. And then I'm going to have um, 
ocean tre ocean treasure then hidden jewels and then i'm gonna have my new neutrals palette um my um night and day palette rock and royal all that glistens truth or dare and then night and day and there we go so the one that I broke the mirror of wins. So again, there's one that's kind of like a miscellaneous category and then two of them are the same. Um, here I have got the Alexis Stone Transformation Palette. It's kind of a long one, kind of a strange shape. But again, again, I really like the shades of this. It's very similar to the Pat McGrath Subliminal Palette that I have. Yeah, it's very nice. And then these ones, yeah, the formula of this is a bit strange. Um... But it's okay, it's just not the same formula as most Revolution, but I like it though. But on the other hand, I am not a fan of the formula of these glitter palettes. Um, again, they have they have colours which are just pure glitter, and then they have these cream ones, which feel quite sort of like nice and velvety, but I'm not the biggest fan of cream eyeshadows, they're very nice also. To me, they just kind of look like kids' makeup, or like a kind of paint set or something. Like, they look like the sort of stuff you get from Claire's accessories for... Um, eight-year-olds for a party like I'm not trying to be bitchy or anything but that's kind of what it reminds me of and um yeah um this one I prefer it's got that very nice shimmery blue shade and stuff like that but yeah again it's a bit kiddy so I'm definitely going to be putting um Alexa Stone at the top then I'm going to have this one which is the illusion palette and then this is the diva one and there we go this is the um Precious Stone collection. This came out about a year ago. Um, when I first heard that they were doing a Precious Stone collection, I was like, oh wow, I've got to get some of these because they're like Steven Universe palettes. Um, Makeup Revolution is releasing palettes that are kind of like Steven Universe because like they're gem themed. And so I've got the um, Ruby palette, the Emerald palette, the Amethyst palette, the Rose Quartz palette and the Diamond palette. So we're going to have a look at this is the ruby palette and it's kind of like all reds and pinks again it's got that weird um the mid the outer ones are powder not normal to press powder but these ones are that weird cream stuff again but like i don't mind it so much than in the foil palettes because i have a feeling it's because um it's just got like more appealing pack these ones have more appealing packaging than the ones i showed you before like i said they reminded me of kids makeup this is the emerald one. For some reason I expected it to be like sapphire or blue because it looks kind of bluish green to me. But um, yeah, I find that red colours are kind of out of place But um, since it's supposed to be emerald. But yeah, still very nice. And then we've got the um, amethyst palette which has like purples and blues which I cannot ever complain about because I love working with purples and blues. Um, these creams are actually very nice. Um, yeah. Then I've got the Rose Quartz palette, which I imagined would be pinker, but it's got a kind of peachy bronze kind of shade. It's Yeah, it's got more of a peachy bronze theme, and I imagined Rose Quartz would be more of a pale pink, so like I don't really find that really fits. And then we've got the Diamond palette, which is sort of silvery white, sort of like smoky, and again it's got a red that doesn't really match. Um, yeah, and so I'm probably going to put the... Um, no, the top one is going to be the amethyst, then the emerald, then the diamond, the rose quartz, and then the ruby. So the Forever Flawless Makeup Revolution palettes, and um, they have a very kind of like nice packaging, nice formula and stuff. Um, I sort of see these as kind of the quintessential Makeup Revolution palettes, apart from the chocolate palettes, obviously, from My Heart Revolution. But, well, let's get on with it. This is the Optimum palette. It's got very nice shimmery blue very nice shimmery purple obviously those attracted me to this palette and um yes it's just a yeah very nice palette and then we have got the unconditional love palette which has sort of like romance and valentine's themes as the names and it's got shim again nice shimmery um sorry i just received a public message a private message i'll respond to that later i just got shimmery purples shimmery pinks and it's very nice and a gold yeah and then this is the Constellation palette, which is absolutely lovely. It's got all the names are space themed, like the Galactic Chocolate palette. Um, yeah, and it's again, colours I'm very into, blue, pink, purple, and there's a green, that colour Saturn there. And then 
We've got the Forever Flawless Ice Palette. This one is all kind of like blues, silvers, very cool colours. There's a fire one, which I didn't get, which is kind of like the counterpart to that. Then this is the Utopia palette, and that has kind of like, again, colours I'm very into. It's very nice. And then this one is kind of similarish to the Utopia palette. This is the Showstopper palette. And to me, the, um, the names seem to have a kind of carnival kind of atmosphere, kind of like... Um, theme to them I can imagine it being kind of like Victorian carnival sort of inspired it's really lovely and then this one is the bird of paradise one which has kind of tropical themes to it um very bright colors I wasn't originally going to get it but it was very nice and I wish that white cockatoo had been shimmery rather than matte because like I said I'm not the biggest fan of white matte shades I prefer like black matte and then shimmery or sparkly white and then this one is the flamboyant sort of like it's got a flamingo theme but it's got really nice blues too a lovely shimmery white that's what I like to see and a shimmery sort of like purpley blue um so there we go those are all the um those are all the Forever Flawless palettes, so I'm just going to sort of sort them into pretty nice little categories. Sorry, I'm just, sort, just sorting them to decide what. Um, sorry, better. Sorry if I should do this off camera, but um, and again. Okay. So, um, so last one I've got is the Bird of Paradise, then the Unconditional Love, then the Showstopper, then the Utopia, then the Ice, and then the Utopia, then I've got the Optimum, the Flamboyance, and the number one is the Constellation. This is kind of a miscellaneous, these are just the palettes from the beginning. This is the, <coughs> excuse me, Revolution Deep Dive palette. It's got some nice stuff like blue and green, but it's all kind of like, again, sort of like I'm not really into kind of like no mirror plastic lids and then we've got the Fortune Flavor Fabus the Brave palette which is one that one that is one of the first ones I got and it's nice but the colours aren't really that kind of like the colours are a bit dull I find and then then we have the ultimate um eyeshadow mermaid forever look with palette which has a lot of nice colours that I like. Um, you can make so many looks with that. I really like that one. And then we have the um, collaboration with Kami, which is this one. It's the Make Magic palette. It's got those cream eyeshadows, but they're colours I really like. And again, better packaging than the um, foil palettes. Um, then we've got the Wild Animal integrity palette which has a zebra outside but it's got these really nice sort of like fun colors on the inside i really like that one and then these are not flaw forever flawless palettes but they're kind of similarish to them <coughs> excuse me this is the chilled palette with cannabis sativa i call it my weed palette but um there's no actual weed in it and again it's got those weird glitter shades which i'm not really into but it's nice and then this one was released about a year ago and it was a halloween palette it's the rainbow palette um i can i often use the white to kind of like make the colors more pastel so i've hit the pan on the white color fantasy it's mostly mattes but it's got some shimmers so i'm definitely going to put the mermaids forever palette as number one here and then We'll have the Kami palette, the Wild Animal Integrity palette, um, Rainbow palette, the Chilled palette, the Fortune Favors the Brave, and then finally the Deep Dive. So that is kind of the miscellaneous one. And we'll be back next with choosing an ultimate winner. Da -da -da -da, my ColourPop Inner Trance palette. That has got to be my favourite eyeshadow palette. I just love it so much. As soon as I saw it advertised on ColourPop's website, I knew I had to have it. Um, yeah, I probably complained that it was all pastels before, but I've discovered this thing where I can darken my outer corner with eyeliner or something. And yes, it does have a glitter shade, but I kind of like this one. It's kind of nice. See you in my next video. Bye!